this build, I'm starting with uh, an old pickaxe. I don't know anything about it, but I did a little bit of research and I couldn't find precisely what they're made out of, but, or precisely what this would be made out of, but from a lot of them are made like a 1060 carbon steel or something like that. But I figured it'd be really cool to make this into my knife because, hey, World War One has a lot of reclaimed material, so why not forge it out of something that they may have actually had lying around? So my basic plan is I'm gonna cut it off. I don't know, here, maybe, I don't know. Forge this end, it'll hold still, into my blade, and then probably hammer this out thinner, cut it down the middle, and then forge that to where it goes around my hand, to where I have like a, I don't know, a handle? And I hold on to that and then I have my steel wrapped around my fist, and then on my arm to make the full gauntlet.
now that I have my, well, I have the forge to shape, it actually fits, it's pretty comfortable, it's a little small, but I've had pocket knives that were smaller, so not too bad. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim off my excess here, and I'm probably gonna grind this a little bit, probably thin it out. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna drill holes in that and rivet it, or quite how I'm gonna attach it, but I think once I get this shaped the way I want it, I might grind this to shape, but I won't really grind, or I won't start sharpening it or anything until after I have the uh, fist part made. So that way I don't have to mess with the sharp blade while I'm trying to uh, shape steel around it. But yeah, I think this is gonna be pretty mean when it's done. Okay, so this is gonna be pretty square and then folded. I just kind of traced it out and I'm gonna cut out of this big sheet of metal, just scrap. Uh, what I've seen from the original is uh, he, the guy who made it, I think, would have just probably done something similar to this instead of having a template, because it was, I think it was made in the trenches. So he probably just took a piece of sheet metal and started bending it around his hand until it fit right. And that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing, but yeah, so I'm going to cut this out, which is a pain because stuff's hard to cut. And then I'm just going to... I have to burn off this coating. And then just uh, start bending it around my hand and make it fit the now blade. Now I have my sheet metal cut out. Uh, it turned out I just kind of eyeballed it. It's exactly a foot across, so that works. I measured my center point, which is six inches. And then I took where my hand sits. That was a little different just because... Uh, camera angle but that's the width the basic width of my hand and that's where I'm gonna bend the first part over because I, I apologize I'm not gonna show any pictures because I don't want to deal with like copyrights and all that but basically it's gonna be my first top bend are gonna go and then it'll widen out a little bit and that's where my blade will sit and then the front part of it curves around to where it just kind of cups the front part of my hand and the rest of it will bend in to go on my wrist Again, will probably make a little more sense after I'm done. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, probably cut those, I should probably bend that and then cut the slits in a little bit. Or maybe I'll slit it first. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that first. Measure out all my cuts, which I'll, I'll show you that before I bend it. But I'll cut those in and then bend it and measure out for my second one around this based on where it's bent because uh, I can't plan ahead no matter how hard I try. So I'm just kind of weighing it and seeing what happens. Okay, now that I have everything shaped, uh, I honestly don't remember how much of this I actually filmed. Not much of it, I know. I cut and shaped that to where, essentially, it'll stay. My hand fits in about like that. I mean, the size difference is my hand's on top of it, but, and my hand will be wrapped around the handle. I'd recommend cutting these a little deeper. I didn't cut them enough, so I'm gonna have to make some sort of like plate or something that sits over there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a couple holes on the side and I'm just going to weld the sides of this handle in because I figured that'd be about the easiest way to do it and the most secure, which my weld is currently broken. So I'm going to have to go to my dad who has a welder. And I don't think my welder will weld this type of steel, but not important. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the kind of sleeve part of it that goes on here. Uh, or else be the same sheet steel. I'll probably just take a, 
I don't know, kind of like a half cone shape. Usually what you do is when you have a cup like that is you make a, instead of, you kind of have like the cone shape, but have two flat ends on the side and I just kind of wrap it around. Again, I'll just use the horn of the anvil, which has been really handy in crafting this. I think this would probably take me three times as long if I didn't have that. Okay, so I was gonna drill holes in the side to weld it. That didn't go over so well. So I just cut some slits. I'll probably open them up a little bit more. But that'll weld onto the sides here. And uh, I'm gonna cut out, and I won't film this, but I'm gonna cut out a plate that kind of sits over the top of all of that with a slot that fits over. It's kind of cover that up. And uh, yeah, I just need to clean up and uh, finish up the blade, which will just, you know, sand this smooth, heat treat and temper it. Maybe sharpen it a little bit. I don't know how much I'm gonna do with that. Probably not as much as I usually would, but uh, I'll still, you know, it'll be sharp. Uh, then I'm just gonna tack weld that onto here. Again, the original, it has rivets or something all along there, but I think since I'm gonna go ahead and weld this, I might as well weld that on as well. But yeah, it's pretty much done. This has been surprisingly easier than I thought it would be. Okay, so I went ahead and just welded everything together. Kind of see where it's welded there, where it was cut. Welded this piece on. Trimmed this down a little bit because when I bent my arm, it would dig in. So, uh, yeah, after that, sharpened it up a little bit. Nothing fancy. Uh, just got done spending the last probably 20 minutes playing with it. It's not the most comfortable thing to hold and probably not my first choice if I were to use a weapon. But, you know, it was pretty fun to build and it's a cool piece. I was mostly just stabbing old uh, coffee uh, cans. Like coffee cans mean like canned coffee. Like the really high caffeine ones. I have a problem. Anyway. But uh, you kind of see there's a few nicks on the blade. There's a couple there and you can't really see them up here where I was trying to just cut like a 30D nail. I wanted to see if uh, this would actually cut them or do much damage. I know it's a little softer back here because I mostly just hardened this part. But back here I actually took, I said you really can't, can't even really see where it hit. So it's hard steel, whatever the hell it is. But uh, yeah, fun little project and I love world, improvised World War I weapons, so yeah, this was a one to check off the list.